Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this wonderful evening of musical theater. My name is Nicole and I'll be your MC for today. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge our wonderful sponsors for their unwavering support. Ray Speed, Kulon, Sadur Manga Dua Pik, Bisa, and Dynasty Food Group who have helped us make this show come true. We would also like to thank our donors who have believed in us since the beginning of our production. A very warm welcome as well to our esteemed guests from KBRI, SMU Office of Student Life, friends from PPI Singapura, and all ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we bring to you an original musical set in 1960s Indonesia, Gaya 2023 Prasajati, The Price of Independence. During this period, Indonesia was faced with political instability, social, and economical injustice. The story revolves around a young journalist named Ayu, who is driven by her passion for storytelling and the truth. Let's watch together as Ayu discovers the power she has in writing the truth and the impact her stories can make. Ladies and gentlemen, join us now as we unfold the story of Gaya 2023, Prasajati, The Price of Independence. February 2nd, 1962. It was a sunny day back in Jakarta. Streets were bustling with bechaks, bicycles and cars passing through. Bottles filled with tea clinked as people cheered before they munched on their fritters, filling up the smell in the air. Jakarta was not the same as it is right now. Everything went by slowly and everyone seemed to be enjoying their time. But behind this rose-tinted facade, I see a very different story. A story of struggle and hardship. Laborers work long hours in bad conditions while my parents can just conveniently do their business at home. Seeing this molded my ambition to help the poor, the less educated, the underprivileged. Creating stories through facts and real-life experiences. Every beating heart in this community is a story to be told. Every person I see around me, a life to be discovered. I have made mistakes in the past, brave mistakes. Mistakes that led me to a path of no return. Now that I've seen all possibilities and outcomes in life, I'm here to tell you a story that led me to where I am today. My dear, it's time to go to the store. Check the bills, check the books, count how much we've earned so far. Check how the business runs today, check how the cash flows today. Make this business promise. Thing for us. Welcome to my boring life. In this dull hometown, a place where we make mainstream choices every day. Business is our legacy, business is our everything. There's no room for failure for us. Business means the world to us, nothing else can compare, so the business must be promising for us. Too bad I don't agree with that, oh my gosh, can't you see that our issues are much deeper than it seems? If only you would 
open up if only you would hear me out about what I really want. You know what? I'm done. I'm over it. It's time to make a move. Got this vision in my mind. Got this feeling in my heart to write what they think. Promising for us. Poor thing, pity me that we're stuck here for today, doing that same old thing so long again. If only all of my dreams can come to life, I'm sure that things will be better for us. What's wrong with chasing your dream? What's wrong with changing destiny? What's wrong with making a better place for us? It's time for you to pay up in the end of the month We're done with work, so where's our check? So where is our cash? It's right here! Too bad this is the best we got If we want more, we must make sure that the business will be promising for us No need to fall into despair Have a little faith in me Because I got something in store for you The floor won't sweep itself. Okay. Good morning, sir. Do you have anything to say about the evil deeds of the factory owner? You do? You want to expose him too? Well, lucky for you, you're talking to the best journalist in town. I'll make sure the whole world knows your story. Ah, uh, hi, Mama. Ayu, how many times have I told you? You are not a real journalist. But I am. No, you are not. But I am. Really? Tell me, how many articles have you published? None. That's what I thought. Look, Ayu, being a journalist is just inviting trouble. You're young. You have no idea how dangerous all this could be. Your dad and I worked really hard to get this store where it is today, so that you could have a peaceful life. But I don't want a peaceful <sighs> life, Mama. I want to help the community. I want to help the people you and I grew up with. They can help themselves. The community is doing fine on their own. We have our own things to take care of. 
crown are you? The poverty, the lack of police, the corruption. It's not safe, are you? Why are you so against helping the community, Ma? I mean, Ma I would understand, because he didn't grow up here. But you? We were both born and raised here. I have dreams, Ma. Dreams? Don't feed a family or clean the floor. Come on, Ayu. Dreams are for bed. Wake up and get to work. But I don't Ayu, want to. I listen to your mom. Dear, why don't you sit down? Fine. Look, Ayu, I know you want to be a journalist, but we can talk about that later, okay? For now, maybe, can you help me count how much money is in the jar? Okay. One, two, four, five, six, seven, Hey! Oh my gosh, Putri, you scared me. What were you doing? Same as always, counting money. Ah, well, like you always say in your articles, zero is a great place to start. How's work at the factory? Not the best. The boss is in a pretty bad mood because there's been a rat problem. He told me to look through the whole place to find where they're coming from. And you know what? I spent the entire week looking through in and out of every tunnel in the factory trying to find these rats. <sighs> but nothing new, I guess. How's you? How's your week? Bad. I've been trying to publish this article, but mom has been pestering me all day. I'm never going to get anything published, and it's all her fault. It's not her fault. <laughs> it is her fault. We worked so hard to get to where we are today. She's so ungrateful. God, what gave her this nonsense journalist idea in the first place? Here, calm down. Look, she just has a heart for the community. Isn't it great that she wants to improve things? It's unnecessary. The community can improve itself. I mean, we started from zero, and we're doing all right. What she needs to do is focus on herself and her family. Study hard, get a good, safe job running the store. That's more than enough to live a good life. But instead, she's just always running after the next big story. And her obsession with that factory owner. I know, I know. Look, I'm worried about that too, okay? But she is our daughter after all. I trust that she knows what to do and what not to do. She has more sense than to publish an article about a factory owner. I can wait to publish my first article about that factory owner. I've been looking into him, and he's so shady. No offense. None taken. But if you want to publish it, you should probably do it anonymously. You know, my boss isn't someone you can mess with. Good idea, Putri. Picture it. His name on the front page, my article exposing him for all his wrongdoings and for treating you and all the other workers so poorly. Remind me again why you work for him. Ayu, I've told you this. I don't have a lot of options, and my family needs the money. Besides, someone with my background, I can't even dream about being a journalist. Don't say that. Unlike you, not everyone has a fancy education. But are you more than that? Besides, I do not have a fancy education. Huh. Everything we sacrifice to make sure she's educated. All for this. She could become a great successor, but no, she just wants to write. I know. She has it so easy. All she has to do is continue running the family business, but instead, she's so occupied with all this writing. Hullabaloo! Dear, calm down. I will not calm down. She doesn't listen to anything I say. She's always insisting on her way. She's annoying. Stubborn. Frustrating. Hard-headed. All I want to do is to write. Writing. All she wants to do is write. She, she just, just doesn't, doesn't understand. understand. You know what? Right. I'll go. Here, come on. Let's go.
things are going to change. You can bet. Tomorrow, when I visit the editors, everything will be different. I can feel it. I'm here to submit a new article I wrote. It's about the... I'll take this one. So, oh, I see you have a new article for me. Yes, and I've got the perfect headline for it. Exposed. Factory owners' mistreatment of workers brought to light. Look, Ayu, we've been through this before. I can't publish your work. It's too scandalous, too bold. The same problem with your last three articles. You need to stop being so obsessed with this I'm guy. I'm not obsessed with him. Let's see. Factory owners' wicked deeds revealed. Oh, and what's this? Unethical business practices going on at factory. And who can forget your last headline? Evil man opens factory. You won't believe what happens next. Just trying to tell the truth. I'm sorry, Ayu. I really can't publish your work. I think it's best you just go home. Everything all right, Budi? Oh, oh, boss, I didn't know you were coming. Boss? <laughs> It's okay, I was just in the area and thought I'll see you on how things are going. They're going great, boss. We're just checking through some articles. What? And this is? Uh, nothing you will ever publish. Of course, boss. Tell me, Booty. How's your kid? Adi, right? Yes, boss. I heard he's doing well in school. Man thing, isn't it? <sighs> Such a nice place for good, talented kids like him. He's got a bright future ahead of him. You want that for him, don't you? Uh, of course, boss. He's my son. Good. So, you're the one, huh? <laughs> Didn't you know, kid? I own this publishing house. In fact, I own every publishing house in this country. Look around this place right here. Everything's under my command Cause I'm the boss in control Cause I got money right next to me Hey little girl, who are you? Every trouble you bring, I can stop it Cause you don't stand a chance against me Cause I got money right next to me I'm saluted, I'm respected I'm undisputed by the crowd Cause I can't do it I'm affected I don't do this That is my secret to success That is my tip to a happy life Everything would be easy Cause I got money right next to me I am now the richest man of all I am now the king of the world Listen girl, why not join my paradise? I got money, I got money Right next to me You want to ride then let's go 
destroy my life of ecstasy No, don't you dare mess with me It's like a money right next to me I don't mean to come in close But here you are inside my soul Your fate is now in my hands It's like a money right next to me I got money right next to me Lots of money right next to me I was once like you, young and foolish Even I was just a nobody in the streets I learned that passion alone was just useless That the only thing they cared about is well No, I can't go back to the past He was a janitor Washing the toilet bowl Need to run away from the past It was so horrible So money, please come to me I don't want another restless sleep I don't want to worry about a thing The richer I am, the better I'll be So money don't run away from me I am now the richest man of all I am now the king of the world Let's go, why not join my paradise Cause I got money, I got money Right next to me Life is good, life is good Life is sweet, just like candy Cause I got power, I got status I got money right next to me Let the girl go away from me Unless you agree to come To make my life more heavenly Make the future more promising You better come with me Cause I got money right next to me Run on home, kid You will never get your articles published In fact, that is what I think of your article Wait, I... Hey, excuse me, that's... That's it!
If I can get the publishing house to distribute my articles, then I'll just do it myself. But are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure. Same thing tomorrow. I think by the end of this week, can publish. 
Hi, Mama. Where have you been? Nowhere. I was just out with Putri. Oh. Did anything interesting happen? No, nothing interesting. We just hung out. Huh. You sure nothing interesting? Nothing newsworthy? <laughs> no, I can't explain. Let's see. I Apart from his unethical business practices, the factory owner also has every publishing house under his control, meaning no one will ever find out about his exploitation of low-income families or about the horrible hygiene at his factories that has led to multiple employees falling sick. One employee even admits that he made her crawl around the factory looking for rats. Um, I just... Ayu, how many times have I told you? You are not a journalist, and I forbid you from ever being one. You will work in the shop, and that's final. Mom, our community needs this. This is bigger than me. Think about us. I am thinking about us. Do you have any idea what kind of danger you're putting our family in with this kind of article? What are you trying to do? Get us all killed? No, I'm trying to protect our community. And I am trying to protect you! You're grounded. What? You're grounded. From now on, no more writing. You'll start learning to take over the family business. What? But mom, you can't do this. This is my dream. It's all I have. Wake up, Ayu. You know what? Forget it. No, wait, come back. Ayu, come back. Ayu, Ayu! Dear, what happened? I saw Ayu running away. I, I, I was yelling. There was something about an article. I, she just won't listen and I, I don't know. Dear, it's all right. Look, it's getting late. You should go get some rest. I'll find her and I'll speak to her, okay? She's just so stubborn. Doesn't she understand it's not safe to do all this so carelessly? What an attitude. But she is your daughter after all. I know, I know. God, it's raining. You better find her quick. I will. Go. Are you? Are you? Are you? There you are. Come on, let's go home. I don't want to. Are you? It's getting late and it's raining out here. You're gonna get sick if you stay here any longer. I said I don't want to. Move over. What? <laughs> hey. So I guess you're here to tell me not to be a journalist. Honestly, I don't care. I don't believe you. It doesn't matter what you want to be. What? I don't care whether you're a shopkeeper, or you're a journalist, or even a factory worker. As long as you're happy, and as long as you're prepared to own whatever you're doing, I'm fine with that. You know, 
I used to have a dream of my own. Really? You? You're like the most relaxed guy in Nopa. Yeah, but before all this, I used to want to be a magician. <laughs> pa! <laughs> then what happened? So, there was this small thing. It's a small incident called the Japanese occupation. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. Dad? <laughs> so, I was forced to come to this country, and then I met your mom. And then there was you, and then there were mouths to feed, a family to protect, and yeah, suddenly, my dream just wasn't my dream anymore. I'm sorry. It's all right. I have a new dream now. The same one your mom has. Really? What is it? Running the shop? Protecting you, are you? You don't know what you're doing right now. It's so dangerous. And your mom and I express it differently, but both of us care for you. I know your mom can be hard on you sometimes, but trust me, she just wants to protect you. You already know what the factory owner does, all the violence, all the corruption. God knows what he might do to you if you push him any further. I know, I know. This is not just about me. Think about the community. Putri, we have to help people like her. Convince myself to let go Convince myself to start over There's nothing to regret There's nothing I will change It's in the end I've got what I
That is how much you want it. I suppose I can't stop you. But please, promise me one thing. Whether you come home a shopkeeper or you come home a journalist, please, just come home. Okay, Dad. Let's go. Ayo, Mama. No sense at all. You could have come home and talked it out in the comfort of our living room, but no, my husband wanted to be a hero and have a whole conversation in the rain, not even thinking to seek shelter. Ah, uh, and you, don't even get me started on you, running off like that after I told you how dangerous this community was. What exactly were you trying to achieve? Here. Great. Now I've got water dripping all over the floor. <sighs> you know what? I go clean yourself up. I'll take care of this mess. Thanks, Ma. Don't thank me yet. The key should be done any second now. Also, just so we're clear, you're still grounded. No, I know. <laughs> Writing that kind of article, you never know what that man might do to you. Ma? Shh! Ayu, hide there in the shop, now! Ta, what? Now! Go, Ayu. Hi, can I help you? Yes, you can. Our boss wants to speak with Ayu. Where is she? Hey! My bro asked you a question. Where is she? Hey, you stay away from her! What did you do to our daughter? Is she with you now? Is that why she's not home today? Huh? So she's, she's, not, she's not home today. <laughs> bro, bro, she's not even home. Should we, just, <laughs> should we just come back later? Oh, okay, let's come back later. <laughs> Oi! Boss said, we can't find a daughter. Just take the parents. Oh. Leave her alone and take me instead. Shut up, old man. We're taking both of you. Ain't that right, Mo? Could have said it better myself, Yono. Wait, no! Do we? No! No! Don't touch it! Let me go! No! Stop! Don't touch it! Your face! No! I said, let me go! You both think you're real smart, don't you? But I'm smarter. Yeah, my bro is real <laughs> smart, bro. <laughs> See, I got your exposed the fact that your daughter's not home. Now my brother and I don't need to search the entire house for her. <coughs> We're real clever like that. That's right, bro. Now move. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 
done it. Oh, why? It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Are you? It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Hey, what happened? It's all my fault. I heard sounds of a fight. Hey, are you? It's all my fault. Are you? This is Putri. Are you? Putri. What happened? Putri, they took my parents. Who took your parents? Two men. They came in and they took my parents. I have to. I have to save them. What are you going to do? I'll just. That must be the factory owner. I'll go up. I'll go straight to the factory owner. No, I no. have to save my parents. But who's going to go with you? Hey, who's going to go with you after they hear what they did to your parents? I'll go alone. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. This sounds crazy. It is, but it's okay. I'm his employee and I make him money. Besides, I'm not the one publishing articles about him calling him evil. Okay, we'll do it. But what if you get hurt? I can't afford to lose you too. Don't worry, we'll be okay. You and me, we march right up to that factory and we get your parents back. It'll be okay. Okay. But how? I can just budge right in. Don't worry, I've got a plan. How do you know about this place? Like I told you, I spent the entire week looking for rats. Rats? Shh. I'm sorry. Did you find rats in here? No, not that I recall. Let's go. Hey, are you okay? I miss my parents. What if I don't get them back? We will, trust me. I didn't get to apologize. I didn't even get to tell them I love them. You were right all along. The factory owner is too dangerous. I shouldn't have written those articles. Hey, hey, look, you did what you thought was right. And that's what's important. Right now, we're going to get your parents. And after that, we're going to write an even better article. Okay? Okay. Let's keep going. But where does this tunnel even go to? I'm not completely sure. But I remember... This door. This door led a pretty big room. Okay, tell you what, you go on that way, and I'll go this way. Whoever finds my parents first, just bring them back. And if you don't, we'll just, we'll meet here. Okay, be careful, okay? You too. Oh no! Welcome, are you?
Neil. Bro, bro. <laughs> Devi, are you all right? Barry. Is anyone there? Hello? Anyone? Oh God, where's Ayu? No, we left her in the house, remember? Don't worry about her, she's safe. Right. I'm so tired. Oh God, auntie, uncle, over here. Putri, wait no, Putri. What are you doing here? I came here with Ayu. We came to find you. With Ayu? You two shouldn't be here. This place is dangerous. Don't worry. We'll meet her at the exit. No. How do I open this door? Okay, there's no point. It's locked. The guards have the key. I'll figure something out. I can pick the lock. No. Any second now, the guard might come by and catch you. You need to go now. Yes, it's not safe. Look, you need to get Ayu, and both of you need to leave. Shh, let me concentrate. Putri, Putri, you're not listening. There's no point in getting yourself captured too. Go, go home. Come on, let me get you out. I can do this, trust me. Putri, please. Putri, I... Damn it, Putri. You never listen to adults. You're just as stubborn as Ayu. And they're your best friends. And you don't understand how important your own safety is. I am thinking about myself. Now how do I open this door? Uh. Okay. I can't leave you here. You know, I made a promise with Ayu. And, and both of you have done so much for me. You've watched me and Ayu as we grew up. You've invited me into your homes and... And now I can't even repay any of that. Hey, hey, look at me. It's okay. You don't have to repay anything. I've done so much for Ayu. And you've been there for her ever since she was a kid. It's already good enough that you came here. Did great. But what do I tell Ayu? Could you maybe tell Ayu that? We love her very much. You know? Putri. We love you too. Thank you. Looking after Ayu all these years. best for her life Cause we won't always be there to guide her Tell her we love her Tell the best for her life Cause we hope that her dreams will come true
Ayu wouldn't be where she is today without you. Now we need you with her in the years to come. I know it's awfully selfish of us to ask you this, but please deliver this message to her. Tell her. Tell her we're sorry. No. What? <laughs> Putri, Putri, you're not listening. They're coming any second now. No. If I've learned anything from Ayu, is that we should never give up. Let's go. Putri, thank you. Go. Welcome, Ayu. So nice of you to join us. Any trouble with the rats? We heard a scream. <laughs> yeah, we heard a scream, all right. Yeah, it was like, Ah, oh, rats! <laughs> sorry, 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 boss. Sorry, boss. <laughs> anyway, we heard the screaming and we heard your conversation after too. Very touching speech about your parents. Wasn't it, boys? Yes, boss. So, what brings you here tonight? Please, I just want my parents back. Great, Get you can them. have them. What? By all means, take them. It's your work I'm interested in. I know. You want me to stop writing those articles. Look, if you give my parents back, I promise I'll stop. For now. Why on earth would I want you to stop? Yeah, why? Uh, boss, I thought you wanted her to stop. Yeah, boss, I thought you hated those articles. Look, look at this article. I have every publishing house in this country under my control. Not even a single word, no. Not even a single letter, no. Not even a single stroke is printed without my approval. Get this, <laughs> this article by a silly little girl without even a single credit to her name Spreads like wildfire. So you don't want me to stop? Stop? Wildfire cannot be stopped. As long as there's even one ember, one twig glowing, it can be rekindled. If I stop you today, who knows when another girl might pop by or what she'll do in two weeks, two years. No, I want you to keep writing. In fact, I want you to write for me. What? Ah, oh, yes, with my resources and your ingenuity, I can make you this country's number one journalist. Everyone will know your name. You can have the complete freedom to talk about whoever or whatever you want. Subject, of course, to one rule. You. Of course, you'd have to go through me. But I promise, I'm a fantastic boss. I'm a great guy to work with. Right, boys? <laughs> so, what will it be, I? Never. Disappointing. You know, we're not so different, you and I. I'm nothing like you. <laughs> Let's see. Plucky, adventurous, brave. What else? Ah, we'll stop at nothing to get what no! we want. You torture the poor. You exploit your employees till they fall ill. You silence anyone in your way. How many people have suffered for your dream?
If anyone is suffering the most, it would be me. I built this business from the ground up. You had it all given to you. Your parents sacrificed so much to get where you are today. And because of that, you were spared their hardship. Face it, Ayu. Both of us only got where we are today by leeching off someone else's blood Shut and sweat. Shut up! That doesn't justify any of the things you did. What is wrong with you? Me. <laughs> You're just like me. Now choose. Do you want to work for me? Or do you want to keep wasting your time fighting me? I won't choose. Choose. I won't choose. Choose, are you? Will you be with me? Or against me? I see how it is. Such a shame. You couldn't see eye to eye, are you? Stop! No, are you? No! No! Oh! 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 No! to this. All I ever wanted to do was to tell my dream, to tell the truth. But now I see the chaos in my family's eyes. But I still have time. I still have time to fix this. I'll fight him. Everything that I built from the ground up by myself, the deals that I made with the devil, those corrupted officers, they think they're above everyone. Well, not me. And all of those efforts just to be crushed by a mere child. You, you think you can stop me. Why don't you just accept it? We were this close, this close to greatness. Everything that we could have achieved, gone. And here I am. Standing amidst the ruins of my own creation. My pride, my source of wealth. 
Well, braver, stronger, and smarter men have come before you. <laughs> and you, you, you will join them soon. Morning. Time to wake up. My dear, it's time to go to the store. Check the bills, check the books, come how much we've done so far. Check, Check what, what is, is in the news today. today. Check, Check what there is to do today. Make this business promising. For me. You're running late for your interview, are you? Don't forget your bag. Right, interview. Interview. Do I need... Where's my bag? It's by the door, are you? You're so forgetful. Right. First. Come on, are you? Quickly finish your breakfast. You never change, do you? You're a grown woman, you know. You not crumple your clothes like this? Morning, are you? Are you ready? Your interview's starting soon. Yes. Sorry, I left that. Let's go.
She's here. Ayu, Ayu, could you tell us how we've gotten this far today? Ayu, Ayu, can you tell us more about the work you've been doing in the poor communities? Ayu, Ayu, what are your motivations and inspirations for building the most famous publishing company today? Well, stories have power. When I was a child, my parents told me stories before I went to bed. They would tell me of princesses, knights in shining armor, evil witches. Sometimes of a young girl taking over her parents' business. These stories fueled my ambition. They inspired me to grow up independent and to take care of my family, who I loved. And as much as these stories were fantastical, they were real to me. Then I grew up. And while these stories are nice for children's bedtimes, I learned the hard way that they're nothing like real life. Life isn't so black and white. Sometimes things happen. And there isn't always someone to blame. To overcome the battles that stop you at every step of the way, there is no clever bargain to be made to guarantee a happy ending. Most times, there isn't even a happy ending. And it's only after things happen do you realize. Do you realize its magnitude and how irreversible things are? And life is not a book. Life is not a book. You won't be able to reread a passage that you find hard to swallow or to flip back to a part you enjoyed reading more. It happens now, and it happens in the present. So if you don't mind, I'd like to share my heart with you. No sugar coating, no pretend happily ever afters, but what's genuine and true. And I promise you, no matter how much someone else may want a different ending. No matter how much I may want a different ending, I'll tell the truth. Because truth has power. Because stories have power. And this, this is mine. Of our committee from the administration team are sitting in the audience. 
But let's give some love to our to our administration team as well. We have marketing led by um, Helen and Emily. Welfare led by Samuel. Corporate license led by Justin and Evan. Sales and ticketing led by Rachel and Vanilla. Tirsa as finance deputy and Riley as assets deputy. From the artistic team, we have music and sound led by Johan, Justin, Nicholas, and Talia. And Drew as our lighting designer. Kevin as our script writer. And Michaela as our director. Performing team, the dance team. And our lovely choreographers, Josephine and Salma. Next up, we have our vocal team. And of course, our talented coach, Dion. And of course, guys, our wonderful actors, David as Yono and Gabriel as Mool. as Budi Kuntoro. Michael as Ranga Susanto. Samuel as Hyop Seng. Dewi as Devi Estiningtias. Rosette as Putri. And of course, Sarah as Ayu. And last but not least, let us give a round of applause for the Core 6 of Gelar Budaya 2023. Jordan and Shireen as the Administrative Managers. Jessica and Jessica as the production managers. Michael and Kanaya as the artistic directors. Ladies and gentlemen, the core six. And of course, guys, a, a, a wonderful hand to our audience. And finally, let's show our gratitude to our donors, sponsors, and SMU Office of Student Life for their unwavering support once again. And thank you to everyone who have poured in their blood, sweat, and tears to make this show possible. And lastly, we would like to dedicate this show to Jonathan Layardi and James T, who have been with us since the beginning. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our show! And with this guys, we would love to hear your feedback. 
please find a feedback form in the e-booklet given to you or you may also scan the QR codes had, uh, held by our ushers. So once again guys, thank you for joining us today and see you in Gaia 2024!